It's March 27 and it's cold, but I think I'm going to plant some stuff. So uh, I'll just do a quick rundown of what I've already planted and what I'm about to plant and just, you know, how I plant seedlings because I don't believe in going to a nursery to buy plants. So I started with um, root vegetables and hardy greens. So here I've got parsley and parsnips and carrots. The uh, parsley is supposed to be right here, and it's not doing very well. It doesn't look like it started coming up. Coming up. The carrots are doing okay, but they started coming up in clumps. I'm not sure why. I sowed them evenly, but I'll have to go back and thin those out. The parsnips also came up in clumps. They look actually pretty similar, but I've got little sticks. You can't see them. Uh, and over here I've got the kale, which has a little bit of a, a purple leaf. It's doing very well. And then down there it's just radishes and those came up fairly well. Now I'll go back and thin all these out. The, that's just fabric, um, plant fabric, I don't really know what it's called. But it froze last night, I just wrapped it over and Every time it freezes, I just cover them. It helps the plants breathe so that they don't get, you know, uh, just stifled if I don't get out early enough in the morning, but it protects them from frost. And I planted tomatoes and peppers inside of this little cold frame. And they mostly seem to be coming up. That's borage right there. And there are some herbs in here. But these dry out fairly quickly, so I gotta make sure to water them. And I didn't rototill either of these. Um, I rototilled that one over there and it's been staying fairly dry. I haven't hooked up the hose yet because it's been freezing, but these have stayed wet. I guess that's one of the bonuses of not having to rototill. Um, and so what I do when I plant is I'll take the rake, and if it was dry, I would just, well, I guess it's okay. I just kind of rough it up a little bit. Not too much. Last year I had radish and uh, squash in here. And the squash didn't do very well. So I rough it up and I take a board. I lay the board across. And then take a little dandelion digger. I just draw a line. So I kind of go straight down here. And then I just take seeds. I got lettuce and spinach. That's all I'm probably going to do today. And I just sprinkle them down. Now I can also, with these, just kind of take a little bit and you know put them out, and that would probably work well too. Um, just depends on what you want. Uh, my main problem is, has been uh, not planting enough seeds to begin with, uh, planting too deep, um, planting too late in the year, and um, 
not sending out enough. Uh, there's a slight chance it might freeze again tonight. I'm okay with planting uh, spinach and lettuce because it's not going to hurt spinach or lettuce, but beans and stuff like that will be hurt by a freeze, so I'll have to wait for that.